I'm like casting a shadow. That's that's kind of cool. Anyway, hey, it's Sol with some more Shadowlands coverage. Long have I clamored over conduit upgrades, one of the few unknowns remaining in Shadowlands. Today I have some actual information to share, not complete, but you know, just a little bit. Behold, the manifest Aether Shunt. The shunt, whatever. I'm gonna read the tooltip. When you use it, you add a conduit that you do not have to your collection, or you upgrade an existing conduit by one rank. The upgraded conduit will be selected randomly from your lowest rank conduits. This costs 500 Stygia and requires that Venari, the vendor that sells this, that you have a cordial or higher opinion of you. Now, I'm assuming that cordial is the highest possible rep with the Venari, and if it is, that at least means that you won't be no life farming Stygia anytime soon. Stygia is found out in the mall by killing rares and completing objectives, which by the way will eventually get your ass kicked out before you can return the next day. You can also enter Torghast and farm the Twisting Corridors, the 18th floor climb, at as high of a layer as possible. In the current build, I just tried this before shooting this video, I did a level 1 climb of Torghast, I came back, and it appears that I can climb level 1 again and get the rewards, but more on that later. Let's talk about conduits for a little bit. Conduits in Shadowlands seem to drop from all over the place, from quests to world quests to covenant callings to rep vendors to PvP vendors to whatever I forgot to mention. They're, they're just plentiful. Conduit upgrades have up until now been a mystery, leaving us to speculate and worry. Or more like worry and speculate, but anyway, the knee-jerk reaction to an item like this is, oh boy, oh boy, we're gonna be farming Torghast and the Ma all day, every day, so we can get our conduit upgrades, right? With so little information to go with, the short answer sounds like, yeah. Already, I'm sure there are people planning to spend 26 hours a day in Torghast plugging away to farm for conduit upgrades. But when you sit down and think about it and read this tooltip over and over again, that's probably not such a great idea. In fact, that's definitely not how you should be getting conduit upgrades. It's not just degenerate behavior, it is straight up unproductive. Take a look at the tooltip again, all right? Using this item might get you a conduit you don't already have, or an upgrade to your lowest level conduit. So this is not to min-max your best in slot conduit because this item is going to help every other conduit except for the one that you want to have maxed. We've read from earlier posts that upgrades will come from other sources, and unfortunately we still don't know what, so you got me there, I'm just speculating. But now that we have something like the Aether Shunt, we can go back to Blizzard statements from a few months ago that higher level conduits will in fact drop from higher level content. That means the conduits from world quests may drop again, this time at a higher level, when your renown is high enough, because renown is tied to the drops that you get from world quests. That probably does mean that higher level conduits from dungeons come from higher difficulty drops, like this one, the Resolute Defender from Wazala. But here's the other thing. I got this same conduit not from killing this boss, but by opening up a Covenant Calling chest. Conduits are supposed to have multiple drop sources. Callings and world quests are the way to make that happen on top of the vendors and the dungeons with those visible loot tables. So let me lay on you. What is the likely and the sobering reality? Okay, it's actually still speculation, but here we go. We can target conduits by buying them from vendors and farming dungeons, and they do not drop from raids. Upgrades are going to come from farming higher level dungeons in the hopes that the higher level conduit will drop, as you know, one example. Maybe if we do a world quest with a repeat conduit, it's going to show up at a higher level. Although I've looked, I haven't seen them yet. Or if we do covenant callings, maybe we'll get upgrades if we already have a certain one. As for the Aether Shunt, this is like the Stygia dub. This is not optimal farming. Grinding this is basically hard work when there are much more efficient ways to upgrade the conduits that you care about. This here is the option for hardcore or casual players who are nearly done with all the practical conduit farming, which makes this item pretty smart, because it makes the max part of min-maxing very elegant and clean, because it's the last mile done by a vendor. 
It's also for those who hopelessly can't get a certain conduit, but have the best versions or close to the best versions of everything else. So in other words, the Aethershent is not the path to take from start to finish, but the path from almost finished to finished. So here are some numbers. Stygia is farmed from Torghast by climbing the Twisting Corridors, as I said before. And at its highest level, level 8 and a full run, you get 330 Stygia. At the moment, you can farm this over and over again. So in the interest of making the Twisting Corridors uh, an option strictly for farming cosmetics, as said from earlier statements, I strongly suggest to Blizzard to add a weekly lockout to the Stygia reward that you get, as in you can only get each level's worth of rewards once a week. This is already something that we take from Soul Ash when we farm uh, those smaller six, uh, six floor climbs. They can do that, or they can just lift the Stygia rewards altogether because now Stygia is definitely a currency related to player power. Whatever the case, the rate of farming Stygia in the Maw is pretty low. Maybe you can get like a few hundred a day before you're unceremoniously kicked out from the Maw. And it's also worth pointing out that when you die, you lose a big chunk of that Stygia and you gotta go retrieve it, so it's in your best interest to blow your Stygia sooner rather than later. The Aether Shunt is bind on pickup, but not unique, so in its current form, you can keep buying and banking them until you want to use them. That's likely to be changed in the later build though, so don't get your hopes up. But with all this laid out, you've got to ask yourself if it's really worth it to farm this every day, per character, so you can get a small upgrade on a conduit that you probably don't care to upgrade in the first place. Because this isn't just normal RNG, this is targeted RNG, meaning that the thing that you wanted upgraded is going to be upgraded last. I've said numerous times that I think that tying Renown to all conduit levels is the safer way to go because I, I, I really don't want to have to choose between working towards some of the more casual Covenant activities and hard farming to upgrade conduits. But given what we know about conduit sources and what we've learned from this Aether shunt, we might be okay as long as I'm right about upgrades coming from World Quests and Covenant Callings. The RNG factor is there, obviously but we've seen worse. That's going to be it for me, but I'd like you to share your thoughts on this first look at conduit upgrades. Will you grind away at this as soon as you can? Will you not care too much until uh, later? Or will you not care at all? Share your thoughts in a comment below, like the video because that would help obviously, and subscribe for more of this and all things Warcraft. We'll see you later. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy. Mm -hmm.